Well, hey. How are y'all doing? We had a little trouble um, uploading the morning report today. Hopefully we'll get that up this evening. I wanted to put this out there as a as sort of a lead into it. Because I want to because I really need to get the discussion started today. Um, I'm driving to work. It's raining finally. And uh, so we have to be, have to be super careful because people have forgotten. It hasn't rained here in a while like this, so sometimes people have forgotten and we've got so many new people here who understand that you can't drive the same way you drive when it's dry when it's wet here. Things are different. So in any case, uh, this morning we do we did two stories. Um, the first story is about Nancy Pelosi. There is a videotape that has surfaced Interesting how these things surface, um, where she admits that she was responsible for security on January 6th, the, the infamous January 6th, right? She was responsible for security. Uh, now, a lot of us, we, we already said that because we knew that because we can, I don't know, we can freaking read. Uh, really has, you know, that, that being able to read stuff has really really helped out over the years. Um, so, we knew that the, the, the Secretary of the House is responsible for security, especially when there's a joint session. And when the, the joint session is meeting for, um, to, do ele to do an election stuff, like they do, um, it's between the, the Secretary of State, I mean, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, Speaker of the House and the uh, the Mayor of D.C., um, Muriel Bowser. They have to basically, you know, say, they have, they have to coordinate, 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 and um, figure out how best to keep the city safe. It's their job. Uh, and we found out a number of years ago that President Trump had authorized 10,000 or so, and said uh, 2,000 or so National Guard, and said so. Now, the, the reason why the outgoing president can't deploy these people is obvious. Can't deploy a whole bunch of soldiers, you know, at the, uh, you know, at the election county because that could be seen as intimidative, couldn't it? Couldn't it? So of course not. Of course, that he can't deploy them. The idea that he should have done something, he couldn't do anything. He did all he could do. Did all he should do. Now, the reason they didn't get deployed was Muriel, Muriel Bowser basically said she didn't want them in her city. And Nancy Pelosi didn't do her job. Now, the, 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 the clip you're going to be able to watch on the morning report when I get it up this evening, um, when I get it uploaded this evening, <clears throat> basically shows her uh, in a conversation with some of her staff uh, talking about just that, asking why weren't there National Guard there. She's not happy because she knows she, that she's going to have to take responsibility for it. Fortunately for her, the spin, the, the spin machine and the hate Trump machine was really rocking at that point. And they just moved the focus to you. They moved the focus to the people who got caught up and did stupid stuff. When you should have just stood there, held your sign up, chanted your slogans, and stayed your ass out of the Capitol. But you didn't. And here we are. So, do I think anything's gonna happen because of it? No, not at all. Not at all. It, 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 it won't have, it won't, I don't think it'll have any bearing on any case in America. Unfortunately, there have been people who are, who have been behind bars since that day. 
and people who've been in bars for a, a, a near a couple of years now. So I don't think it's going to have any influence at all on any of their cases. So in a, in a, in a way, it's an empty victory. But it's something that we need to know. That's for sure. All right, anyway, uh, the, the second story we talked about was there was this woman who followed this, this other woman and her three-year-old around Walmart while holding a kitchen knife. It looked like a kitchen knife. Now, you may have already seen the video. I am not going to show the video on my platform. I am not. Um, I don't think there's any reason for showing um, that video. If you, if you want to watch it, it's out there. You can see it. In any case, so she follows them around what I think is a Walmart, and then she decides to, uh, she follows them outside, and as the mom is loading groceries into the car, this woman begins to stab the three-year-old. She stabs repeatedly the three-year-old, and then when and, and when mom turns around, uh, she begins to, to stab the mother. Yeah. Now, some of you want to turn this story into something other than it is. And I don't want to let that happen. Um, some some people's reaction on Twitter was immediately was immediate. Golly, if you know if the races were were were, were different here, people would be riding riding in the streets. Maybe they would, maybe they wouldn't. I don't know. But what I do know is this isn't a case of liberal wokeness gone to seed. It is not. This is a case, uh, this truly is a case of mental unwellness and demon possession. It's demonic possession. Now, the, the clip that you will see is a, like a, almost a five minute clip on the, on, on the show um, that, that you'll see hopefully tonight is this. When the woman who is charged with these crimes, the little boy ended up, the little boy did die. Um, so the, the woman who's charged with the crime uh, is having her charges read to her in open court, and her reaction, and that reaction has got a lot of people upset. And frankly, if it were the reaction of a sane, lucid person, I'd be I'd be upset too. But it clearly isn't. It is clearly the reaction of an of a person who's insane and demonically possessed. And if you don't believe in demonic possession, watch the video, especially you know watch the morning report. Especially at the end where I can show you, where I show you, where I'm right in this woman is, is, is demonically uh, possessed. Watch it. Let's not turn this into a political thing. Because that doesn't really help the family. Especially the woman who watched her three-year-old baby get stabbed to death in the parking lot of a Walmart. Think about that horror. Think about how easily you'd never be the same. Most of us would have a psychotic break at that point. Most of, most of us would have some sort of psychotic break. never get, I mean, some people would never get through it. So 
check that out. It's probably going to be at least, it is about 4 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time now. When, when you see this, uh, it's going to probably be another 6 or 7 hours from, from now, maybe 10 p.m., 11 p.m., before the morning report for, for the 11th of June is available. But I just wanted you to check it out and be aware that, that it is coming. All right. We seem to have picked a safe route to drive in the rain, and we're almost there. So until we see you again, go out there and learn something, love somebody, and for goodness sakes, y'all take care of yourself. See you when we see you.